Good morning, everyone. We're just gonna wait until we see some people joining us. So if you're seeing and hearing us and you could send us a thumbs up or write a comment, we'd love to hear from you to know that we're working correctly. See a couple people join in. Excellent. Good morning, everyone. And welcome back to sort of sunny New Bedford, Massachusetts here at the Buttonwood Park Zoo. I hope you're in the mood for a good domestics chat today because that's what we've got. And unfortunately for you, I've looked up a lot of jokes about this next animal. So we're here for you. If you've been to the zoo before, or you've tuned into some of our chats, you might recognize where we are. We are in the Buttonwood Farm section of Buttonwood Park Zoo. And because you can see our horse and ponies in the background, you might know which animal we're about to be facing. She's one of our very, very favorites. Gonna give a few more seconds for some new friends to join us. And Steph. Whatever you want. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna turn it over to our lovely zookeeper, Steph. If I can turn it around, which is a good question. There we go. Good morning. So they're very special to us here locally because they are a New England breed um, and they were originally more used in Vermont. And these guys are good general purpose cows, so originally, not Daisy here obviously, they were for meat, milk, and for plowing purposes. Daisy here has a bit of a spoiled life. She just hangs out and gets to play and enjoy the company of her friends. They're human people. So Daisy here is our only cow. Unfortunately, our other cows have since passed away um, from old age. They were all very elderly. And Daisy here is our last one, but she is 10 years old. Daisy Tiger? Good. So she's a middle-aged cow. Cows usually live to about 18 to 22 years. So they have quite a range that they can live to. And Daisy here is a little bit middle-aged. But again, Hopefully you guys are still with us. I'm sorry about our technology. Our Buttonwood Farms area is unfortunately a little bit further from our internet than Facebook would currently like. I really apologize for that. Please bear with us. We'll try and keep it as adorable as possible to make up for our glitches. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're tuning back in with zookeeper Steph, who is training Daisy currently. that Daisy loves squash. We'll pull out a piece. And here she's getting big chunks and you might be able to hear her grinding away. So <laughs> cows are funky. They have bottom teeth and their teeth on, they have a flat top to their mouth that helps to grind things. So it's kind of gross. It's a little wavy. Um, it's a little, little chunky in there. So that's what she's doing. She's grinding her food down. And you'll notice that Daisy is exceptionally drooly. <laughs> You have said so many things that make me glad I'm not a cow. <laughs> we do have a wonderful question about what else do they eat? Very, very slimy. I don't know if you guys at home can see, and there's also a nice little trail of slime on the ground beneath her. Gotta love that cow life. All right, so friends, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to type them in. I'm sorry we've had a little bit of technological difficulty, but hopefully we're a little bit less glitchy now. Give her 
we've we've got our first joke of the day. Whoa, what we got? It says, "What did the coach say to the cows? Now get out there and give me two percent." <laughs> great, great. <laughs> I did hear one that was, why can you not give baby cows uh, coffee? Why? Because they're really caffeinated. These are clever. <laughs> I'm really proud of you. Yeah. Really you like thought them up last night. You were like, we know we're having a chat. All right. So if we have any other questions, please feel free to type them in. Hopefully we're less glitchy. I'm going to try and get some nice close-ups of our good friend Daisy as she eats. Hopefully you can hear those sounds if I stop talking. Oh, there's a nose. Oh, that's an adjective combination I was not expecting. <laughs> so, is, as I said, a 10 year old Randall lineback cow. Um, she has never been bred, for those of you who are wondering, and we don't plan on breeding her. She's at that age where now she's, she's just content being who she is. Um, and she does enjoy her snacks and her time with her people. She loves to be brushed. This is a very smart cow, and she does have a good desire for brushing and loves it. And it's a very good behavior for them. These are social animals, so we do try to do what we can to be social. As you can see, they have a very talented no uh, tongue, and they can pick their noses with it. Very talented, very useful. I want all of you to try that out. So look. many great skills. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, one of the things about their tongue, one of the reasons why it is so long, is because they eat grass as well. So, obviously, hay and their grains and their alfalfa and their delicious treats like this. Uh, in the wild, on ranches and larger things, they'll be eating a lot of grass. So they use that tongue as a finger and they just rip it right on up. That is so cool. So we do have some grass growing. Once it gets a little bit longer, she's going to be loving it. <laughs> I think we'll all be excited when spring finally springs. Yes. No more snow. Our good friend Kaiden coming in with another awesome joke. All right. What did the cow say to the mouse? Boy, moo are small. <laughs> I really hope when cows have thoughts that they replace moo for as many words as possible. Can you tell us about some of the animals you're seeing in the back enclosure? Sure, so if you look, you see that the back and then there's a wheelie green brush on the ground. Those are toys for her to scratch off her extra hair on. So cows being social like to groom and they do like to play and you'll notice that she does have these lovely horns she does use them for playing in a herd situation she'd be using them to help fight off other cows and to play with other cows so Daisy here only has one horn right now she broke the other one off but that's okay it's growing back and that's perfectly normal they do break off and they will shed them and they'll grow not like an antler per se like it's not a regular shed but if it breaks it will grow back so we have those two brushes. Um, there's a fun rolly spool back there, is what we call it. It has a hole in it. And we actually use that to put treats in and she can throw it and push it all around the pasture. Because cows are really strong. They're meant to pull things and they're a big animal. So Daisy here weighs 1,300 pounds, which is a lot. Uh, it's a lot more than I am. It's like 10 times more than I weigh. <laughs> more than that, maybe. Oh. Probably more than that. <laughs> I can't do quick math. Um, so they are big animals and they need big toys. So we're actually going to give her a big toy. Do you guys want to see her get a big toy? I'll wait for a response. You may not get one. It does look like maybe we're having a few more technical difficulties. You know, our viewers have dropped a little bit. We will be posting this afterwards. So hopefully you guys will get a second chance to watch in case oh. things are lagging too badly. Too bad. Oh, Buttonwood Farm. Very okay. good at Melissa? that. Okay, use my lovely assistant Melissa to help pass me this giant All right. box. So Daisy here loves boxes. And the bigger, the better. <laughs> Got it. Oh goodness. Oh, she did. Make work at that. And you can see 
see how happy she is right now. She's just like, yeah, I got my eggs. It's all good. If you want an inside scoop of what it's like to be a zookeeper, imagine creating some really massive, impressive, complicated enrichment for your animals, and then having them find a loophole that takes them about two seconds to break through. That is that is a pretty common occurrence, I think, for us, but it's worth it when you see those cute faces. Look at that. Oh, it's totally Look at awesome. that little girl. And she'll still play with it. So cows are really cool in that because they have that four-chambered stomach, they can actually digest cellulose, which is what plants are made out of. So the grasses, the leaves, all that stuff that she would be eating normally, she can digest. So that box is made out of paper, which is made out of trees, which is made out of cellulose. <laughs> so she can actually eat the box. We won't let her eat the entire thing because that's a lot of food. Um, but <laughs> she can, if she wants to take a couple bites out of it, she totally can. Excellent. Oh, she's getting into it. So I know since we are having technical difficulties and hopefully you guys will go back and listen to this, but I know there are a couple questions that seem to always crop up. We do actually have one before you get started, oh, which yeah. is from Logan, age eight. An awesome question. What are their predators? That is a great question. So they're a big animal, so they have really big predators. There are over 250 different breeds of cow around the world. So depending where you are in the world, they're going to have different predators. Here in the United States, the main predator that you're going to find of cows is wolves and cougars. And of course, people. Get you in here as well. All right. So do you have any other fun questions that people usually ask? So the other fun question that we always seem to get a question, I forget who says it, and I love this question. Can they see in color? So I can prepare. <laughs> yes, cows can see in color. So they can actually see in a yellow and blue spectrum but it's a lot duller than ours. So they can't see greens or reds, but they can see a little bit of the yellows and blues. And they can see in the dark because they do have a special membrane behind uh, their retina, which is part of their eye that helps them see, that reflects low light, gives them a quality of low light vision. So they can see at night when they're in their barn, munching down. Excellent. I want to give a shout out. Unfortunately, Facebook is having some issues, so it did not show me who donated, but thank you so much for your donation. We really appreciate it. And again, we're watching Daisy, the Randall linebacker, in a giant box eating hay. And we're taking any questions. If you have any questions, please feel free to type them in. I know our internet's been a little spotty, but we do love questions. <laughs> there we go. Gotta get a little help from your friends. <laughs> and I'm sure this box will continue to be fun in its many states after this when she slowly destroys it. Oh, it will. She'll play with this all day. Does Daisy have a favorite keeper? What a good question. I love that one. Good question. So does, she doesn't really have a favorite keeper. There are a few of us that she prefers over others. I like to think myself, Katie and Kay are definitely some of her favorites, but I know that she does love her Bruce and Joey too. So she doesn't really have a lot of favorite people. She does have a favorite volunteer and that would be the lovely Melissa. Favorite volunteer. I think that goes for a lot of us here. <laughs> and Melissa. <Everyone> <laughs> Melissa oh, likes to spend a lot of time grooming her, so she has a really good relationship with us. Excellent. That was a great question. I love when people ask that one. Usually the answer is whoever has food. Um, but we do have some with those big personalities who, who have their favorites. Excellent. Did you have any other fun facts you wanted to share with us? I can't believe they weigh over a thousand pounds. Yeah, uh, so Randall linebacks, can, they range from about 1,100 pounds to 1,600. So Ooh. bulls, um, bull Randalls are definitely on the larger side, uh, but these guys are actually considered medium sized for cows. Some cows can get up to 2,000 pounds. That is crazy. All right, friends, we're gonna watch her for just a little bit longer and see if we have any other questions coming in. I apologize again for our internet connection here at Buttonwood Farms and the Button. But we really appreciate you joining us and we love showing off our beautiful animals in the domestics area, as well as our beautiful keepers in the domestics Aww. area. <laughs> so if you have any other questions, we do have a few more minutes, feel free to give us a shout out and let us know what your thoughts are. 
But in the meantime, I want to thank you so much for tuning back in. We will be here every single morning at 11 a.m. with your virtual keeper chat, bringing the BP Zoo home to you. And I want to give you another thanks for our person who donated to the Buttonwood Park Zoological Society, which is the nonprofit branch of the Buttonwood Park Zoo. If you're having a good time and you'd like to donate and show us your support, please click on the button below that says donate now, or you can do it by text by texting BPZoo20 to the number 41444. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. I don't know. Any last uh, cow jokes? I don't have any good ones. Do you want to? <laughs> nope. No. Do you think it ain't good Maybe she's not in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> have a wonderful day.